Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another day of Mark Burr, brought to you by Mike Bjork. Happy uh, Monday. It's uh, March 28th. Hope you guys had a great uh, long weekend. Hopefully, you're able to enjoy a long weekend. Um, we got a busy week this week. We got a lot of uh, the job numbers coming out this week, and the big one will be, of course, on Friday by the Bureau of Labor Statistics. Uh, Wednesday, we'll have the ADP numbers, and the weekly jobs comes on Thursday. Uh, but today, we got the personal income for the month of February, so we had a half a percent uh, back in January increase. Uh, for, uh, February's number is supposed to be a little bit more, uh, uh, a little bit more moderate at 0.1 percent forecast, and it came up 0.2, so a little bit better, a little bit better than that re uh, reading. Also, consumer spending a little bit better than what we expected, so we had a 0.1 percent increase in the month of January. Uh, spending forecast supposed to be nil, and went up 0.1 percent. So uh, people are spending a little bit more uh, than we expected, which is obviously a good thing. We need people spending more to get the economy moving along. Uh, we also got core inflation. This is also known as the PCE, and after you strip out energy and food and energy, which creates a volatility. So generally, at a 0.3% increase, and the February was supposed to be at 0.2, and only went up 0.1%. So basically, our year-over-year -year stayed the same at 1.7%, and the Fed is trying to get that up to 2%. Uh, this bodes, uh, you know, this kind of creates a little bit more curiosity because it gives the Fed a little bit more leeway as to how long they want to be able to raise rates uh, as it approaches the 2%. As it gets closer to that 2% rate, rate uh, more likely they will probably start be, uh, be more inclined to go ahead and start raising rates. Uh, we'll get to that a little bit here, talk a little bit more about that. Uh, we also have pending home sales. So January had a negative, a pullback at 2.5%. Forecast was supposed to be at 1.8% and it actually exceeded at 3.5%. So good numbers overall. Uh, here, uh, core inflation was okay. It wasn't anything that hurt us or uh, or hurt hurt us or helped us. Uh, pending home sales was nice, and of course, consumer spending and personal income did all right too. Uh, market's currently down, uh, especially after there was uh, some merger talk with Starwood uh, that was kind of helping the market, and then uh, after uh, after start going in there, oil started coming down a little bit. Now it's down about thirty nine dollars a barrel right now, and even dipped a little bit. Down. A little bit lower than that, uh, as we see. Also, there's been a little bit more skittishness about uh, some of the Fed talk that there's a lot of Fed members have been kind of speaking out that we could be raising rates sooner than later, even as soon as the next meeting, which would be in April, uh, which is kind of the kind of concern where the footing is. So that's why the job numbers will be even more important come Friday to see if if uh, the economy could sustain another rate increase. Uh, especially two when they're talking about uh, going from two, four to two uh, rate hikes this year. All right, so let's go take a look here at the bond market. Bond market's up about 16 basis points, which translated to better pricing from where we left off on Friday. Uh, so overall, a decent number. We're up above the 10-day moving average and just closing in on the 25-day uh, in the first level resistance uh, on there. So, uh, But today, better pricing from where we left off on Friday. All right, folks, you guys have a great day. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.